Hello and welcome to this episode of From the Staff Room. There's so many things at the moment that are just getting on my nerves. I mean, why have we got a big fuss going on about whether children should wear masks or not? Now, if you look to my coronavirus first video, you'll see my suggestion is that it's optional for children in primary schools if parents want to send them in with masks we change them at the door for a new one yes they can wear a mask while they're in not a problem we know the coronavirus rate in primary schools and transmission is minuscule absolutely minuscule in secondary schools yes it's a bit higher so that should be a different consideration, especially with the numbers of the children and how they mix in corridors. Although schools are going to get it sorted out about one-way corridors and things like this. So I can't see all the fuss and all the debate. Make it permanent. Yes, they could, must wear them in secondary schools, in primary schools. It's optional. End of story. I mean... The biggest danger in schools is staff transmission. Now we're talking about primary schools here. Staff transmission. So we're not going to have the staff room where everybody congregates. We're not going to have, I wouldn't have thought, dinner ladies coming in to, to oversee things at lunchtime. We're going to have to have staggered breaks and staff are going to have to cover those. So it's down to school arrangements. But the biggest area is going to be trying to avoid staff contaminating or contracting coronavirus and passing it on to other members of staff. That's the main area of concern in primary schools. Now, let me look at my list. What's the other thing? Oh, SATs. I said this ages ago. It's come out as a petition now. There's a petition now on the, from, I don't know whether it's from the leaders group or whether it's from some of the unions that are saying we shouldn't have exams next year. Now they're referring to, I think, GCSEs and A-levels and saying the syllabus is gonna to have to be contracted so much if we're going to test, it's going to be on a shortened syllabus, but why should we be testing at all? Well, I think <laughs> exams are going to go ahead for secondary schools after this year's debacle. They're not going to run any risk of, um, of repeating this, and they're certainly not going to ask for teachers to give another set of inflated results, which have just skewed everything for one year. But I said ages ago, there's no point in having SATs next year either. Because there's such a big catch-up amount of work that we're going to have to do that by the time we get through to May time when SATs traditionally happen, what are you going to test? You're going to test the progress? No. A lot of the time we're going to spend this year on catching up from what the children have missed. So you can't actually test on how much the children have progressed. And I said this probably about three months ago. We shouldn't have had SATs. This year, fine, shouldn't have them next year either. Let's get things back on track. So whether that filters down to primary schools and SATs, it should do, but there's certainly petitions going on to change things at secondary level. Oh, I'll tell you what I read, the, in fact, yesterday, yesterday, I was looking at a couple of schools that I've dealt with in the, in the past and seeing their arrangements for coming back also heard about some schools they're coming back for half days this is primary schools again they're coming back for half days so at 8 45 ish start they're all going home at half past 12. what is the point of that what is the point of only doing half days i can't see it myself i really can't we know the infection rate is low in primary schools children of this age do not pass it about with so much to catch up on, so much to actually implement in schools, like all this sort of social distancing, the staggered breaks, the staggered lunch times, etc., 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 with all that going on, which is going to take a lot of time, 
Why are you then cutting down the school day to half a day? That's absolutely crazy. If I was still a head in school, or I was advising heads in schools, I would say, no point, run your whole day. And I've also sir, saw on one school's um, actual arrangements, they're bringing in an outside football coach. How crazy is that? I mean, that's just ridiculous to bring in an outside football coach to run a sports club and I think they're going to have it during the afternoons to take PE. That's absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. You shouldn't have entertained it at all. How these people in some schools are coming up with these wacky schemes, I don't know. But you're doing yourself no favours. If you're in a school that's putting some of these things in, roll your eyes and keep your head down because it's not well thought out, it's not well planned, and if you're only doing half a day, absolutely crazy. So that's it. That's my rant from the staff room, as if I was <laughs> sat in the staff room putting everything right at one lunchtime. So those are my things. I don't know what you think about them. Put them in the comments underneath if you want to comment. Um, if you disagree or you agree, it doesn't really matter. It's just my thoughts. Okay, hope everything's going okay. We're looking forward to the start of term. Catch you soon.